Hello and welcome to the last, the fifth round of casual tournament. The sixth casual tournament. I am Lahi and I am with Trap Penguin. We are on Mars with with a glass colony with high um, power price. And yeah. high, food, high food. High food, high water. I kind of want to look at a water based phone here. There are nukes. Maybe I'm looking at scientists. Start with farms. Actually, ET used to have a really interesting strat where he goes each to scientist with only farms and wind turbines. Farms are, almost cost no power, so he gets a ton of power from doing that. Then he just buys someone mm -hmm. out of this issue. You can actually do that here. There are cliffs. Cliff adjacent water tiles. Where's the. Oh. Oh, we just see. Oh, a lot of people dropping it. Two scientists. <laughs> Four people in the same corner. We we don't oh, have to move wow. too much. This is really bad for time racers, I think. Yeah. I think he was counting on getting that iron that Lucero took. I, if I were a time racer, I think instead of trying to get as close to iron as possible, I would have found it right between silicon and water because uh, 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 it turns uh, out. Time racers, okay. because as it turns out, the colony is consuming glass, and glass is going to be a good market. And scientific bonus, without shipping, it's going to be great. Yeah. Yeah, this just shortening the steel shipping distance is not worth as much as getting adjacent silicon. I definitely agree with that. Yeah. See, so two people going food. Expansive, Tax Boyt, and uh, Lichero. Oh, sorry, t Time Racers. And that's fine, I guess. What's really interesting is this mutiny on the Iron Mine. This is really bad for Clippy. He yeah. doesn't want to re mutinate, I think. He doesn't want to get another Iron Tile. I think he just waits. I, I think. Oh, I think. What Clippy can do is. Oh, screw steel. I'm not making steel. I'm going to make power. Make two, make it the three elemental quarry, make 200 glass and 200 silicon, and go to power and make yeah. power money. I think I like this that. can be a play. Definitely. Uh, yeah, I got to. He should definitely scrap this steel man if that's the play. <laughs> yeah. So everyone got HQ2. Let's see, Time Racers finding double aluminum tiles. He only managed to get one of the steel tiles because this shadow has now four steel mills. Which basically means he has to sell this down to afford his aluminum and his glass. So you can expect steel to be cheap. It would benefit Clippy a lot if it goes for the power play, which it does. So yeah, I don't, I'm not liking this shadow's position here. Sax, Boyd. What can, you, can we call him Sack? Yeah, Sack. Yeah. Sack, gonna use this mutated iron now for the double steel mill. And also going for wind turbines really far away. Opposite mm -hmm. side of the map. Does it have to go that far away? Doesn't like it feel feels... like it. I mean, yeah, right I mean, above him should be good. Equipment is strong one above it. Above the HQ. Stronger. Yeah, these two are stronger. A little shadow getting hit by an, uh... Okay, this is reasonable. Time rip tracers realizing... One steel mail is not going to cut it at this point. And he mutinies in a way that he gets a Jesus bonus and cuts off a Lich Shadow's bonus. Pretty neat, actually. Although, do remember that Lich Shadow would have had to sell that steel down. But then again, everyone else would want to buy it, not just Time Racer. It should sell our sense, I think. I think you want... Oh, I'm not sure if you can afford that much debt. He is going into a geothermal plant. Time Racer is. That might help mitigate this depth a bit. Solar flare! Oh, Clip is happy now. There you go, Clip is making power oh. money. Double goon it. Okay, he's gonna kill power for everyone, I think. Yep. And yeah, he... Time Racer's commitment into Geo is not going to pay off because of this. Alright. Clippy is in money. Yeah. So this devalues Time Racers 
Geo a bit. Like when he built his power was 160, when it finished it was 18 going down. Just and then really. look at that power surge. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, Clip is really happy yeah, now. Yeah. Um... So he's using the money he got to OHQ3 and to get into patents. There was so much money. He's doing up teleportation. Mm -hmm. Lichetto is going to take the teleportation in 10 seconds though. And Lichetto does need that because it's in the corner. And there's nothing next to this HQ, only steel. Yeah. And you don't want to ship too much. Yeah, that's a solid choice actually. But I'm sorry I missed this. How did he get financial instruments? Did he actually research he it? Watched. Yeah, he did. He went f first patent financial instrument, second patent interpretation. Mm. Uh, I don't think that's such an emergent patent. No. Not with this dead situation across the border. I think here I want to see a pair of glass because it's a colony. And. I don't know, maybe return a claim on a steel mill and go into a pair of reactors? I think reactors and glass can at least are the best market. Yeah. yeah he does go reactors easy. and glass. I like it. Lippe going into an early pledge though. He will not be able to goon it because until it goons on his power and uh, patent lab. But yeah, this this would be a pretty good pledge though, especially if we can grab yeah. virtual reality, which is. With uh, power At price home. being low, three adjacent head habitats making 208. Too expensive, it's going to be better and better. Yeah. Also, this is like perfect. After power dies down, the power money person has no debt, so he's willing to pay for a patent, and it's a claim auction, which is perfect for him. Yeah, click poking really, really good here. As soon as he gets nano, he scraps out of the solar panels to get that 300 silicon back. He could have done it earlier. Power was kind of dead. But waiting for nano oh, is, is a good strategy. Three on the silicon is Power is kind of rising. Yeah, there was a round of shortage like, just now. <laughs> yeah, it's shortage and people are not making that much surplus. So Glippy might rethink about scrapping solar panels after this night. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe, we'll see. So we saw some nukes. Let's report on the nukes. There was water nukes from two people onto Clippy. So they see how big a threat is. They saw, oh, this guy has a lot of money. Uh, his response, however, is slant relay, which is a really nice response. Yep. It would be nice would be impossible to nuke him out. I mean, it was kind of not easy to nuke him out anyway because he had so many adjacent water towns. But this will make it actually impossible. So if yeah. you want to punish and someone with can... nukes, you should hit the remote tiles because they're much harder to uh, switch your room. Oh, I like this. After patient. the sleeping, you can get double medium under pattern app. Yeah, and that's already good too. That's great. Yep. Yeah, I'm really liking clip here. He's gonna can miss out to... on uh, virtual reality though. Very nice on yeah. Remember I called time races taking the auction? I don't think I was right. Like being in C depth is not really where you want to be here. I would much prefer to be in uh, like 70k range and 100k range. So he will have to start worrying about this. Pretty and there we go, we secure slant relay. Very timely return to solar panels on Glippy, just as power started becoming a reasonable price, Glippy went into it and is now making a little trickle of surplus power. Yeah. It's Shadow going for Energy Vault, which will have a lot. Zack making power money, but a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. Those two really, really remote window. Yeah. 
Oh, I think this is what he wanted. He wanted to be able to go into a triangle. But what you should consider yeah, though nice. is line is not that much worse than a triangle and they're much more protectable because you can go in the middle one and feel safe. I would much prefer this line up here. Ready both space. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, super connector and from also Considering that uh, that the line would have been triple strong, and the triangle is one one very strong, too strong. So maybe line is equivalent to this triangle. I don't know. I get this. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I think this is also very strong. Strong, strong. Wait. I don't know. I don't know. The main feature <laughs> is not the production. The main feature is the defensive and distance. Yeah. Like this takes twenty and... seconds longer to ship out. Or you know. anyway, I like Clippy. <laughs> Let's see how much a financial instrument has earned. It has earned fifteen K privilege shadow. Okay. Not too bad, not too yeah, bad. It's, it's not too bad. The thing is, it would have earned almost as much yeah. if it got yeah, it is... in a different order. Like, nobody's gonna contest it that soon. People... And the Shadow would have secured nanotechnology if it, he used that uh, camp for nanotech instead of financial in instruments. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Time racers. He is struggling a bit with pirate on his camps, and like we talked about before, his depth. He is in a pleasure dome, so is Lichero. Lichero is one who got virtual reality. So I would like to see this goon, possible, because this will be a main feature. Oh, and a habitat rescue. Now triple adjacency. Nobody in HQ5 yet, Clippy definitely afford to go there. I'm not sure why it doesn't. Could you do maybe one more solar panel? Oh, it's going that already. Definitely time for some optimizations. Yeah. Everyone being very cautious, everyone's bought all of their stock before they upgrade it. This game is going to go long. Yeah, although off roads are really bad, so I'm not sure what the late game strategy would be. I guess off roads will get better. If it does have pinky machines, it might be able to them down early, even though they're not very profitable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, onward is not amazing either. You might as well go off road, prepare for it, make some steel, optimize it. Yeah. One alternative is to try to use the hacker very creatively. Might be able to give you uh, enough money to buy someone. That's true. Pippi hitting on on these six steel mills. Also optimizing steel. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is interesting for Clippy. I like this. Always like when mm -hmm. like actions combine to for a bigger purpose. And I'm not sure what the purpose is here. Does he want to sell steel to other people? Or does he want to prevent them from going off road? I'm not sure, but I do... Steel th is expensive. Yeah. And uh, like Time Racer is HQ4, Time Racer still needs to uh, consume it. And this shadow does not have nanotech. Every time the shadow builds something, they need to pay for it. And when this shadow is not making steel, the money goes to Clippy. Yeah. It's a lot to commit free optimizations in. And looking from his buy into glass and electronics, I think he wants to build an off-world. But now it's also selling steel. Yeah, so I'm not sure. If he wants to build an off-world, you kind of want to leave those steel. It became a bit awkward. And with Time Racers being aggressive on him, I think he feels really good about this, because Time Racers is not really a threat to buy him out, being only HQ, HQ. Or mm -hmm. it would be better for time racers to actually upgrade. Let the bidding begin. It does make it awkward for Clippy though. 
um, if somebody else has five stocks, it's going to be cheaper for other persons to buy them. And time, you don't want to buy time racers at this point because time racers is not making much money, or nor uh, it's going to make a good sub, judging from the configuration of the base. Yeah. Uh, Sack going into the first awful market, and it's a Polony awful market. Do you think this makes sense given the current configuration of the black market? Yes, there is a. So, the good is that there is no dynamite, the bad is that there's mutiny, and if people want to mutiny on awful market, People will take that of a market. Yeah, and, and there are spies. <laughs> there are spies, it's not hologrammed, and there's network virus to pop the gun. So it's going to cost a lot to protect it until you become a sub. Yeah, and there we go, the first network virus is already on. By the way, look at the water. Oh, wow. <laughs> Double power surge by Zack and this shadow. Oh, <laughs> at least it wasn't on the same place. But yeah. And uh, look at this. They took virus on Clippy's farm. <laughs> Clippy's losing money on it. Uh, yeah, well, that, that was a really old one. Money. That's really old one. The network virus I hit now was on the steel mills. I'm not sure why. Maybe looking for hologram, but you can say that no hologram has been bought because it still costs 2k. Um, I'm not sure what the water play was about. But let's check if I had a stockpile of it. Maybe I was monitoring everyone's water. That would have been a really advanced play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, made him some nice money for sure. So we now have three offers on the way. Pippis is finished. Dax is finished and is getting attacked. So it's the regun it. Pippis starting his second offer. So. Do remember when everyone's hitting Clippy, it doesn't bother him too much because he has thinking machines and his base is laid out really, really well for taking advantage of it. Yeah. Everything's kind of hugging him in a circle. Doesn't do much. Nine tiles protected. Oh, the virus on the farms was probably what the water buy was about. But... Mm -hmm. That just occurred to me. But it's not a great play because. Everyone's making water. This is more of one versus one play. But usually in FFA, there will be more people willing to take advantage of it. And also, even with water this high, farms are still kind of profitable. Yeah, I right. have some different optimization strategies here. Clipper going hard into first steel and now water. And Sack spreading them out really, really carefully. I think I like Time Racer's optimization of my He's kind of doing Clippy style, but went to do, in my opinion, better targets. Steel is gonna yeah. crash, and Water is gonna crash pretty quickly. So you don't really go too heavy in them. You can go one or two in each. Be going three into Steel and four into Water. It's just way too much water. Yeah. Problem with time racers is that while time racers does have the right optimizations, they're not producing that much. Let's see, uh, how much glass time racers is making? It's hard to see from this shipping. 2.25. 2 not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Uh, Cam is actually the launch right now. Pip is launching mm -hmm. carbon. Litzero is launching steel. Zack is launching steel. Interesting uh, question. The Clippy avenging, uh, I don't know, not, uh, <laughs> going into his attacker on the stock market. Everyone's HQ5 now, every, every empty stock is bought. Everyone has off roads except time racers. Okay. Unfortunately, my game has crashed with a crash report. It's my first crash report I've seen, so I will watch your cast. Okay. 
better if it happens to you than the players, I guess. Pip is doing something interesting here. He is nuking out the scientist water. Uh, I don't know what Clip is thinking with his water play, honestly. He has perfect water. Yes. Water is really cheap and it's 800 of it and he has four pumps. What's going on? I don't know. I guess there's not a ton of other things to do. He could go into bass. Electronics for sure. I think Clippy likes optimizing those primary resources because the amount of the resource you get by optimizing is greater than other products because water pump makes uh, makes things much faster than others. But the thing is, it's too volatile. Water is a volatile resource, and after you, although you do get more water out of the same. Uh, optimization compared to something like electronics it it has to be mentioned that after it crashed out you don't need water pumps that much so yeah it's a better idea to optimize a final product which is going to stay expensive for a long longer time I might like oxygen because it's the most valuable thing to ship or I don't know. Maybe it's being tricked by holding X. It looks like these are profitable. But I mean, it's a lie because the water stock fine. Yeah. Very big glass and stuff. Also, there's a depth tick coming. Uh, oh, Clip is only in B? Oh. It's holding right below C right now. Deal it, Shadow gets. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, this financial instrument, I think he had, like, in his mind, he probably planned, oh, this is going to make me so much money, but yeah, that never really happened. No. Zach doing well, the money front, he has the most money, although he has less, one fewer market than... I guess people stopped attacking as well, nobody actually spied it. That's nice for Zach. Yeah. Zack has stock in time races, which is really, really good. Because Clippy has to buy time racers, and then Zack will get a fifth of that sub income without much of an investment at all. And I like Zack here. Yeah. Zack has uh, that advantage, stock price advantage, and money is about the same. Zack needs might want to build a second offer because an offer is not that expensive with yeah. these prices. They're getting there. Okay, yeah, there we go. Committed to Lich right now. You need to buy his stock. Or... Oh, he's missing out on waiting here. Just, but when Lich buys into you, his own price will rise. You have to counter instantly or have to pay a premium. Yeah. And I do think Lich Shadow is the correct target. At least if he's attacking you. If there's no way you buy time register, that would be a losing play. Okay. The right button buys Clippy. Hmm. That's a good play. Mm, I think that's okay play. Like, Lich Shadow is not rich, not exactly rich, and Zack is more expensive and does have half an off, uh, one off roll from Clip B because they share the stock with Time Racers. Clip B is a good sub. Uh so, okay, yeah, look, really staring at it, it kind of makes a little, tiny bit of sense, but I do think, still think buying Lich Shadow was better. So Clippy was yeah. about to buy Time Racers, which kind of would have benefited you. Mm -hmm. Because he had subs in it, and, and you're still under threat here. This could still mm -hmm. work out, though. True. Could still work out. It can still work out. At least this was really, really good for time racers. He gets half a sub for free. He doesn't have to spend a dime. 
<laughs> he still has no off roads though. Should have off roads. I think what this shadow should do is buy an attack virus by a mutiny and pop that gun on the offer on the colony offered market, see the gun prices if it's defended again. And if it's not defended, mutiny and you can Take it and maybe even try mutiny gun play. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, which off road are you talking about? Uh, the colony off road from of Zack. Yeah, I mean, the thing about this one is you should just buy it. Then you know for sure if you can mutiny or not. Yeah, Zack going for a second one. It's getting mutiny by the shadow. Awesome. Really nice. <laughs> Really nice. Really nice. Really nice. Zack can <laughs> remute an A for 70k. Do it. Doesn't have 70k. He has to do it. That's it. Can't let that go. After this. Shouldn't be many more mutinies. Because they're not that profitable still. Yeah. This will earn you. Uh, well, 120 seconds times this is like 80k, let's say. Gives you 80k and removes 80k. Yeah, okay, I guess it's kind of worth this 100 k okay. I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Hello. Thorin, Salter, and Leila. Final game, it's a very thrilling one. I have no idea who's going to win this. This is an insane stock situation. I mean, it seems like Glitch Shadow is getting there on Sack. Then, yes. I mean, time racers. Yeah, with the with the free free stuff, time racers hoarding a lot of money. Yeah. And he also has stack uh, stack <laughs> stock in sack. So I don't know. I don't know. I cannot predict this one. What's gonna happen, Lahi? What's gonna happen? But we look at the price of carbon. If Time Racers makes the buy on Zack before Lich Shadow, Time Racer wins, I think. Time Racer should optimize Carbon. Like his main money maker. It's earning as much as clip based earning him. Yeah. Alright. Zack. Getting close to Time Racers. Oh, Time Racers has 83. Zack. 91 but then if if Zack finishes by on time racers this has like a million yeah although he will not have any sub income no yeah i think Zack in, uh, in uh, if there is launch in 10 seconds 9 8 he should probably buy time racer i mean yeah he should definitely uh, there's no other play in the canoe because time racers will buy him there we go, he doesn't even need to wait for launch. And let's see, Lich Shadow needs... Not that much more. Not that 400k much more, and he can sell his own stock for 200k. If he does mm -hmm. that, that's like... Three, uh, 80 seconds of launching? These two plus one more, plus selling his stock. Do it. I think Lich can win this. Although... I don't know. Zack is also making money hand over fist now with all these subs. I don't know about this. What a payout. It's still possible. Zack Zach will get, go, get there in no time. Lee Shadow has to make 400k on, on yeah. the board. Yeah, he does have to sell out of his stock because he needs that extra money. He, he, does, <laughs> he does not have the income advantage, he has the current money advantage. <laughs> oh... Uh, I'm not going to comment on that. Yeah, I think he can miss this opportunity here by not selling out. So I think if he sold out and after this launch, he could have had it. At this point, it doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. Mm, 300k more. Yeah. Earning anything? Yeah, Zach also needs 300k. So yeah, Zach should have it. Yeah. 
Quite optimization there, but although Zach keeps spending money on like power surges and stuff. Yeah, that was I think it's fair to power surge there, but that was not the right target. The right target would have been the uh, reactors. Yeah, Michelle, 250k needed. Zach needs 250. Yeah. Zach has more income. Yeah, Zach has this. It's a whole hundred minute for the shadow. But it's two launches. Maybe if Zach buys another power surge. Yeah. yeah Zach would have to throw this away by now. Let's see. The shadow is launching one now, but it's just not doing close enough. That takes him. Oh, really? They're only gaining 4%. Money. Yes, these are still not very profitable. <laughs> yeah, they're not. Offwards gain value really slowly this game. There's the 100%. Need to cancel launches for it. Wait, cancel. There's no reason, Larry. Zach will get it in 4 seconds. Alright. That was not 4 no. seconds. Alright, alright. Zach takes it. Zach's boy. It. Takes it. And we have Clippy coming second, it's third, and Timer is fourth. And... Alright. Alright, congratulations! Plus! Some nice play. I mean, I, I was a bit dodgy on that HQ1 mutiny play. But yeah, he played a really strong mid and late game. He did not have patterns, he had nice optimizations though. And I guess he... But I don't know, I was going to say he did well in the stock market. And he kind of mm -hmm. did, but also I do still think Lich Shadow would be a better buy. I don't know. This is a weird one. I like it though, this is a fun one. Congratulations! So let's try to see 